Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on, it's lovely to meet you. Um, so for today's video, I have had a lot of people ask me for my kind of everyday makeup routine. So that is what I have done for you. This is, I mean, if I'm going to wear makeup, I do not wear makeup every day. I don't have that time, effort. Anyway, this is my everyday makeup look if I was to wear makeup every day. So this is what I would wear. So yeah, I hope you all really enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Really means a lot to me when I get some new subscribers. I would also love if you could drop me a message down below in the comments what your favourite part of makeup is, whether it's your favourite product, your favourite part of your routine, anything. I will make sure to reply to it and yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Your face on camera. Okay, I have already moisturised, put my eye cream on and put my SPF on. It's not even that sunny, but you should always put SPF on. Always. So yeah, I've been loving the Origins Ginseng, what are you? Ultra Hydrating Energy Boosting Cream. So I put that on and I put the Clinique All About Eyes Rich Cream, the eye cream on that on and then I put on my La Roche-Posay basically Factor 50 or well, Factor 50 plus actually. I've been liking this stuff so I've already put all that on about five ten minutes ago. Okay so I'm just gonna start putting some hand sanitizer on. I will but honestly you'll never catch me doing my makeup without putting hand sanitizer on. Bobble on! Rolling the sleeves up this means business. <laughs> So the first thing I do is prime my skin. So I'm gonna, st I'd use two primers, excessive, not really necessary, but I use the Seattle London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Okay, you proper YouTube and do this. Yeah, this is really nice. This is just a little sample size I got in a, I think calendar, a lot of this stuff. No, a couple of bits are from an advent calendar. So just pop, it's got little beads in it. Give it a little rub rub rub. Oh, hello, black spot. Oh, it smells so good. It literally is like straight up watermelon because I've got, I've got another thing in this video that it's supposed to be watermelon scented. Is it? Not chat. So the next primer I'm going to use is the Too Faced Hangover X Replenishing Face Primer. Just looks like this. Being a YouTuber. I really like this stuff. It, I feel like it gets nice and tacky so it sticks to my face. I do put this on with a brush though, I can't lie. I've got my favourite brushes are the Spectrum brushes and look how cute these brushes are. Oh, look how cute these brushes are. So this is the Spectrum DO4 brush. It's just like a micro, is this a microfiber brush? I'm gonna say it is. So yeah, I just kind of squish one pump on. Don't put too much on. And that's that. So the next part of my makeup routine, my everyday makeup routine, is my eyebrows. I never used to do my eyebrows first. I always used to be a face, like a base makeup girl, then my eyebrows. But nowadays, Instagram has made me change and I do my brows first. So I actually do soap brows because I don't know if you can see, but I have very sparse and non-existent eyebrows. So I use soap brows to give me that fluffy, fluffy brow, which I love the look of. So I use the Pears soap. And you can literally get this everywhere. I'm gonna use the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray to wet in this. This is the thing that's meant to be watermelon. It literally says watermelon. This is not watermelon scented. I'll tell you that's for a straight up fact. It smells like sherbet. You know, like that, that fizzy sweetie you see when you're younger, anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to give it a little scoosh or two and then I'm going to take my spoolie. So this is just the Spectrum 
A24 brush. It has like dual ended. Du dual ended. And all you do is you just kind of like rub around the setting spray onto the spoolie until you kind of make it into this like white kind of paste almost. So just keep going at it. So all I'm going to do, sorry I'm using my mirror now, my dirty mirror. Ooh. All I'm going to do is just comb it up and through my eyebrows. Nothing exciting. Just up and through, up and through. All the way to the end and then I'll just kind of like brush it down at the end to come more to a point. And then I normally can just get two, both my eyebrows done with the same kind of rub. I don't need to put any more setting spray on or anything. I'm just going to brush them up and over it. And then point the tail down a little bit. Like so. Found it. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually carve underneath my eyebrows. So I'm going to use the Spectrum A18 brush, just kind of like a flat shadow brush. Um, I've lost my concealer. To carve out my eyebrows, the concealer I'm going to use is the Super Size Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. So I'm just going to use a little mirror and put it in the back of my hand, take a little bit at a time. And all I'm going to do is just carve out the shape that I want underneath. And do not judge how many eyebrow hairs I actually have under my eyebrows. You know, those little stupid stray ones. I'm trying to outgrow them, not outgrow them, I'm kind of trying to grow them out because it's not cute. I just want really full eyebrows, is that so much to ask for? So yeah, you can kind of see the shape I'm going for. And then I will just take a little bit more of it and blend it down and take a little bit more of it onto the eyelid like so. So I'm going to take the Soap and Glory Archery Pencil, what are you actually called? Brow, Brow Precision pencil and brush and all I do is from where that concealer meets my eyebrow just do little flicks so I'm not like drawing any lines I'm just doing little brow strokes so oh god stress this does take some time to build up but I think it's so worth it once it looks good And then when it comes to the tail of my eyebrow, I like to make it a little bit longer because I feel like mine cuts off really short where I like it to look a bit longer. So with that, again, just with the really short strokes. It looks a bit crazy now because I don't have the rest of my makeup on, but once I've got the rest of my makeup on, I promise it looks so good. Okay, cool. So now that my eyebrows are done, looking like a crazy lady, I am going to move on to my face. So what I like to do is with whatever concealer I have left on my hand, so I'm just going to take the other end of this spoolie brush that I use for my eyebrows and I am going to, any little spots or anything I have, I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on underneath my foundation. And then the trick is not to fully blend them out, so just give them a little tap so you see how you can still see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is my foundation. So I use the matching foundation to the concealer 
which is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my concealer's in the shade C05. I can't see the shade on this. Oh, oh, is it there? No, okay, F2. F2, it says F2 on it, so I'm going with my, I presume that means fair. <laughs> Take a dollop. It's got this huge doe foot applicator, which I love, and I'm just gonna, oh. Oh, might be running out. That's not good. We're in lockdown. Can't go to boots. Then I'm oh, I keep losing things. I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge again. This is my favourite sponge. I think it's so good for the price as well. It's gonna slightly tap all over my face. Now I'm going to go back in with the concealer, but it's a very light concealer so I do not go heavy handed. So I just like literally do like a little dollop here on my huge button nose bit, a little bit on my cupid's bow and on my chin and on my cupid's bow, tip of my nose. And I just kind of blend it upwards and then under the eye. I don't like to take it too far up here. I like to keep it quite central to my face. Okay, so now that I'm happy with the cream portion of my base, I'm gonna set it. But I have changed my opinion on setting things. I used to like, I used to be an avid set, like I used to literally put like press powder on my entire face. Like I used to just put it under my eyes, on top of my eyes, like on my forehead, on my cheeks, everywhere. And I've completely changed, like completely. I only, if I can find my brush, is that? Yeah. I only put it under my eyes to set my under eyes so they don't crease, on my lids and around the sides of my nose. So I have been absolutely loving the Beauty Bakery. Oh, you can see yourself. Hi. I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter Powder. Setting, flower setting powder. This is in the shade Rice. I wanted to get the translucent one, but it was out of stock and I really wanted it. So I got this one. And to be fair, it doesn't actually come off like white because I know that this looks quite intimidating. So what I do is I just take the bit off. It's probably got, not probably, it does. It's got, it's got stuff on it. And I will just like swish it around, get it on my brush. This is the Spectrum A30 brush, which is like a kind of fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna look up and really lightly pat under my eyes. And then I'll take it around my nose. And then on my eyelid. Oh, I've got creasing already. Not good. The next part of my makeup is bronzer slash contour. I don't contour, I don't bronze. I do like a mismatch of the two. So I bought this when I was in New York and I genuinely cannot live without this. It smells amazing. Smells like holiday, like straight up holiday. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Yeah, it's a bronzer. So then I'm going to take the Spectrum CO3 brush. This is just like a big fluffy brush, really. And I'm just gonna go swirly swirl, tap tap. And then for some reason, I always hold this bit to like pull it up. And I'm just gonna really lightly dust that over this part of my face. Oh my god, that looks really orange, but I promise it's not. It's just not that bad. In person, it doesn't look that orange. <laughs> I'll kind of take it onto the apples on my cheeks, and then I'll take it up onto my forehead, into the hairline. And 
and then I'll do the other side. Under my chin and under my neck. Then I'll take this brush, which is the Morphe R40 brush. It's like a tapered fluffy brush love the colours on this, oh love it. And I'll take that exact same bronzer, take the, literally like, that's it. And I will just do the sides of my nose. But yeah, I'm just gonna, just do two little lines, two little lines. Just while I've got my bronzer in this brush out, I'll just take a swirl of it and put it in the crease of my eye. I don't put eyeshadow on every day. I do not have time for that. I don't have patience for that, quite frankly. But since I've already got it out, I don't mind putting a little bit in my crease. So I'll just literally like the messiest, blown out, bronzy crease we'll ever see. And then same again, but under the eye. The next thing I do is blusher and are you, I don't think you guys are ready to see how adorable this blusher is. So it's the NARS Orgasm blush, or it's the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. Look like how little it is. Ready? Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, getting distracted. I'm going to take the Spectrum Shock A05 brush that angled fluffy brush. I'm just gonna pat a couple times, pat it off and just really lightly. I like blush, not, not a whole bunch. I'm just gonna really lightly dust that over the apples of my cheeks and a little bit into the kind of bronzy contour thing we did. I put a little bit on my nose because it makes you look like you've got a little bit of sunburn, which is kind of cute. The next thing I do I don't do this every day, I just do it when I'm fancying it, is I'll put little fake freckles on. I think freckles, if you have, look at that. If you have freckles, I'm really kind of envious. I think they're lovely. So I'm just gonna take the same eyebrow pencil I used. I've got hair attached to me. And I'm literally just gonna do the tiniest little freckles on my face. Then I'm gonna move on to highlighter. I take, well, I take, I use the Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme Highlighter. This is the shade 200 Diamond Glow. This is beautiful. Honestly, beautiful. So on my cheeks, I take it with the, you guessed it, Spectrum B08 brush. It's quite similar to the one I used under my eyes, but it's more, it's got more of a point, point. And I just pat, pat, pat. You do not need a lot of this. I don't put stupid amount of highlighter on every day. And I'm just gonna really gently, kind of just like swift it onto my face. Tip of my nose, down my nose, on my cupid bowl, and my inner corners. I like up quite a bit of my inner corner to be fair. The next thing I'm gonna do is just set my face before I put any mascara or anything on. So I'm using the Too Faced Hangover X 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I've got to remove my makeup brushes. Okie doke, so now that my mascara is done, the only part I've got left is to do my lips. I don't think I have like an everyday lip. It kind of changes, like some days I'll fancy a red lip, some days I'll want a brownie lip. But today we're fancying a pinky nude, so here we go. I'm going to use the Buxom, what are you? Plump Line Lip Liner in Dolly Danger. I like the colour of this. So I'm just going to line my lips, nothing exciting. Don't overline, don't underline. Why would you underline your lips? Anyway, I'm just gonna line my lips really lightly because this thing is super pigmented. I 
I do overline that a little bit. So it kind of looks more rounded. I love the look of that. Cool. And then just do some little lines. Oh. And then I'll just take my finger and blend that out. To finish off, I use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. It's a really pretty kind of browny, light brown colour I'd say. And it's really, oh, this is my favourite lip gloss in the world. Like if you see me wearing a lip gloss, it's this. Ah, oh, I love it. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you really enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Also leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. And if you have any requests of videos, also leave them in the comments and I'll try and fit them into my non-existent schedule. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.